Hello guys, Ivan here and welcome to a new video. So today we are here with the new A-Class and this is the facelift version and also the sedan which many of you wanted to see. So we will check out the exterior, interior and also the infotainment system in this video. And today we are at MG Performance Center in Bratislava Lamash. Thanks for having us here today. And guys, if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell and turn on all notifications so you are notified for all future episodes. All right, guys, so let's start with the exterior. I hope you can hear me uh, with this uh, crazy wind today. So here we can see the A-Class facelift and this is the A200 sedan AMG line. So we have the new front design here and as you can see, the biggest change here is the combination of the grill, which has now Mercedes Benz stars, also new daylight running lights, and also the new front bumper. So whole, whole front fascia, as you can see, together with the power domes on the front hood, together they look uh, quite different to the pre facelift actually. The same bumper we have on the A35 AMG, a45S has a different bumper. I think this bumper looks pretty aggressive and pretty sporty. So what is new are the multi-LED headlights. So these are actually from the E-Class facelift and uh, they have much better cutout and much better technology to cut out uh, other cars, stuff like that. So it's much improved in terms of this and pre-facelift. The daylight running lights, we have two smaller stripes and one larger one. And also, uh, because of the new technology, the design of this changes as well. So before we had one stripe with like a three segments, now we have two segments, but uh, it's more powerful now. Also here, these uh, styling vents, they are now different. And also the front one, as you can see here. For this car, we have the night package. So you can see that it's blacked out. And you can see also air curtains here on the side. Also what is new, we don't have the side vent side curtains displayed here, but rather from the inside, you can see it here. So it's from the inside rather than from the side. And because of the night package, you can see that the window trim is now in gloss black, as well as here the window trims. And for this particular car, we have these AMG line wheels. These are the 18 inch with the, with the inside in gloss black. So you can see here the tire size. These are Continental tires, Eco Contact 6. And the tire size is 225-45-18, uh, which is the same as on the pre-face lift. And here is the sedan silhouette as a comparison the hatchback has more shorter design. This one is like a limousine, we can say compact a limousine. So let me know which one do you prefer. Honestly, I would say that I prefer the hatchback a little bit uh, over the sedan. So that's just me. But let me know in the comment section down below. Sedan has also nice shape, a little bit more grown up. But personally, I still like more the hatchback. So, that's uh, about the front design. I think it looks much better here than in the preface lift. Also this design, which was here uh, with LEDs like this. So we can see it here on the CLS. It was basically the same on the A-Class preface lift. I find this one like a nice fresh redesign. and It looks uh, to me like a more modern version and something new because it was uh, for a long time the same basically so i quite like this change actually let me know in the comments what do you think about that the power drums are new for the a-class before they were only on the cla so i like that one as well and also the camera cutout looks larger here on the a-class than it was with the pre-face lift so i just repowered the car so we can see it from the side how it looks many of you would be interested in it as well so from this angle it looks a little bit more sporty than from the side front and I think it has a nice wipe for sure. Let me know your thoughts, which one is your favorite 
for me definitely a 35 sedan but uh, this one looks also really nice a little bit more grown up than the a-class hatchback looking grown up because the wheelbase is the same for both versions for the hatchback and also for the sedan what is also new is the shape of the inside of the tail lamps so now we have these two bars here as you can see they have nice design and I think it looks uh, better than in the pre-facelift we have A200 badge here and Mercedes badge in the middle it's basically the same as with the pre-facelift apart from the taillight uh, design they like LED design because the shape is the same so yeah one more look from the side I think it has its appeal this shape uh, of the A-Class sedan so let me know in the comments which one do you like more the A-Class sedan or the A-Class hatchback and also we can check it out here from the front the silhouette and how it looks so it has this more business like silhouette the hatchback is more like a more sporty one, more playful. This one is more grown up and definitely has uh, both of these versions have this unique character to them. So let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. All right, so now let's open the hood and let's check out the engine bay. So here with the facelift, we have one change for the engine and that is that the engine is now mild hybrid. So this one is A200, 1.33 liter, uh, four-cylinder engine. And this one produces 120 kilowatts. That's 163 horsepower and 14 horsepower from the mild hybrid. And we have 270 newton meters of torque and the acceleration from zero to 100 kilometers per hour happens only in 8.1 seconds. And the top speed is 230 kilometers per hour. So yeah, well, now with addition of a mild hybrid unit and which washer fluid is here on the he's here on the right side and battery is there. So this is the four cylinder engine. Basically the 180 and 200 are uh, the same versions. Just this one is more powerful than the 180. So in terms of the key fob, the key fob is the same as with the preface lift. Also, let's check out how the hazard lights work and turn signals. So you can see how they work. And the lower ones are still with the white color. And the upper stripe is a turn signal or the hazard light. You can also check only the turn signal. So we can turn this off. Now put the one and check it out. So basically the same as the hazard light and now we can check out the rear as well so it looks like this for the rear and this is how the roof looks with the panoramic sunroof so this back part is in body color all right guys so now let's check out the interior of the new a-class facelift sedan so we have new steering wheel, new MBUX system. So let's hop inside and check it out. All right guys, so now in the interior, we will check out uh, the new interior and also the infotainment system. So first, this is the layout which we have here. So you can see immediately what is new and that is a new steering wheel. This is the MG Line Super Sport steering wheel. And it's, personally, I like this steering wheel quite a lot and uh, I would even go and say that I like it more than the previous one and that's because to me it looks more modern. Uh, the biggest thing what people discuss are the capacity buttons. So I would say in my opinion and in my experience uh, you need to get used to these but uh, it's not too long. So I would say you need a couple of hours, maybe a few days uh, at maximum and uh, you will get used to the new buttons, uh, these new capacity buttons. Alright, so that's in terms of the buttons. Overall, I like the new design, the largest Mercedes star, and also these horizontal and also vertical parts. And uh, yeah, I quite like 
how the new steering wheel looks and I prefer it over the previous one. We have also heated seats, I will just turn them off. Also a uh, big topic is the MBUX system. So right now we have the latest NTG7, so the latest MBUX which you can find in the new C-Class, S-Class and just about any new Mercedes. So you can find it also here, we will take a look at that as well. Also big topic is a new system for the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So you can see smartphone integration, that's also new and it's on full screen. Finally we have the Apple CarPlay on the full screen in the A-Class facelift. I assume the Android Auto is also on the full screen so I personally don't have Android phone so I cannot uh, like test this but I assume why not uh, why this would be and Android Auto no so I think they both are now on the full screen which is uh, a great news because before it was like uh, almost half of a display uh, it had the uh, spaces on each side now we have like smaller one centimeter half an inch uh, of a space because of the home button there but uh, if you are driving you are not like a tool you, you basically cannot see that empty space here when you are driving so this is uh, fantastic news for the Apple CarPlay so you can basically have uh, here a split menu with the, the navigation ways and like a music or the podcast so this is uh, really really amazing so if you tap here you will see the split menu so on the left side you have the vase for example I use uh, very very often vase basically almost uh, every time I drive and then you can have here direction when you are driving and here you can have podcast or the music app Spotify Apple music or other uh, services basically so uh, yeah I'm really happy with this also if you are on the call you can see here the person time etc so this is uh, fantastic news also you can make the vase uh, full screen and you can find uh, basically everything so yeah this is uh, uh, very very good so what we have here uh, I have iOS uh, 16.2 so the latest one and uh, yeah basically if I swipe uh, it works also here for the slip, uh, split screen and I have here the phone music apps uh, messages now playing podcast audiobooks uh, calendar settings and Google Maps. I use Google Maps because um, here they're a little bit better in Slovakia than Apple Maps but uh, yeah, otherwise I use uh, Apple, Maps, Apple Maps too uh, now and then but usually I use uh, Google Maps not for driving but for finding stuff uh, yeah for finding stuff addresses etc and for driving I use uh, Waze which is here on like a quick uh, select and then you can have other apps like messengers whatsapp and uh, these kind of things uh, on other page there so really great in terms of the Apple CarPlay that this is now on the full screen and I connected the Apple CarPlay via the cable but you can also do that wirelessly so we have wireless uh, Apple CarPlay now in the A-Class facelift and we can also check out other stuff in the infotainment system here because we have here the latest generation of the MBUX system which you know very well from uh, top cars the all new models so now we have it also here in the new A-Class facelift and another big topic is that uh, we don't have anymore the touchpad so before you had here the touchpad and right now we don't have it here so I have uh, opinions from several people some of them say that uh, this is a mistake that they would miss the touchpad here other people told me that actually they like that there, there is no touchpad here because they had they had cable charging cable uh, which is connected here so basically the cable would be touching here the touchpad and then it would scroll on the menu uh, with the cable I can tell you that this is true also in my car it happens uh, as well so I would say that's also something uh, to keep in mind uh, so yeah, that's basically it. Uh, what we have still here is the volume knob and the dynamic button. Also, this is for the parking cameras. This blind button, I'm not actually sure what uh, could should be here. 
maybe the adaptive suspension or some other functions uh, we will see maybe in AMG models. Uh, so yes, we have camera here and dynamic. This is basically the same, this roller cover and also the two cup holders who are charging for phone, USB-C ports. Uh, this one, this port is actually illuminated. So that's new that the port is illuminated. And this is the same 12 volt socket. So basically uh, that's about it. You can get also different trims for the interior in the facelift, but right now we have here the same as in the pre-facelift, which is a combination of this uh, suede-like uh, material, this one like a microfiber material, and also article leather, which is a man-made leather. So this holds up pretty nicely, uh, actually. So I have these in my A-class uh, since 2019, and they look pretty good still. So I would say uh, this material is really good for the longevity as well. Also in this case we have the panoramic sunroof and you can also get that uh, with the preface lift. These are all the changes uh, basically also in the infotainment system menu. Here in this case we don't have the trim here. I highly suggest to order the trim. That way you will have a ambient stripe also in the doors. If you don't order the trim then you don't have the ambient stripe. Maybe you like it like that, maybe not. Just keep in mind, here this stripe would continue like this. You can get this trim in different versions, in like aluminium and also different ones. So here you can see the seat heating and also you can have a seat ventilation here. You can lock the car, unlock buttons for the windows, you can uh, disable rear windows to open and you can also fold the mirrors here and set the mirrors as well. Here we have the knob for the lights and rear fog light and with this one you control the brightness of the driver screen. Also here we have the driver pedals. They are same as in preface lift, very nice and really great quality. These are like aluminum with rubber dots, they are not slippery great to touch as well. Also what is new you can get the steering wheel heated in AMG line finally. In free facelift it was not possible. So that's also good and I believe there is a switch. Uh, this particular car does not have it but uh, there should be like a switch. Also I believe in the menu to turn it on. These vents uh, either are the same as in pre facelift inspired uh, by the aviation and uh, turbine engines. So, really great design. So here we have the microfiber, but you can get the trim here as well. All right, so let's start here with the driver screen. So if you press home button, you will see that uh, you have several choices. And the classic one, then we have the sport and understated. Also, you have here the navigation, assistance and service. So understated looks like this. You can also change the colors. So it looks like this, you can see here also we have the radio on the central screen. And basically the idea is similar, basically the same as in the C-Class, S-Class, you can change colors and also the middle screen changes the colors. The layout is really basic, you have basic information here. Then you have a sport one, which looks like this, you have G-Force, engine data, kilowatts, newton meters, which are using at that particular moment. Then we have the classic with two dials. This one is uh, pretty nice looking. You can also change what is in the middle, like odometer. Then we have uh, information from start, from reset, uh, eco display, then consumption, attention assist, radio, and this navigation. Then we have the navigation. This one is full screen navigation. Assistance, you will see the car driving and other things on the road, other cars as well, and maneuvers, how the Distronic works, etc. Then service. In the service, you can see the message memory, warning messages, assist plus service, coolant temperature, and engine oil level as well. 
also tire pressure which will be displayed after a few minutes of driving and also a temperature for the each tire as well uh, so here in terms of the message memory we have here vehicle is ready to drive shutdown occurs when locked or automatically in one minute so it was initially in 10 minutes so the car will shut down the engine when you are idling driver screen so that's it in terms of the driver screen my favorite is probably this classic one also yeah you can see now it shut it down the engine so we need to start it up again if you start the car you can see here 20 minutes so that's the limit also for the new GLC so across the models it's uh, the limit is the same so that's also new for the facelift also start stop engine button is here under the start stop engine is here you can turn it off if you don't use this feature also pedal shifters are new with the steering wheel so they are new shape but still very good tactile feeling here you can see the selector for the transmission with this one you have a you can see change the directions also you have windshield washer fluid here and also wipers so that's in terms of the driver screen here in the central screen we have the new MBUX as well so here is the navigation phone radio then we have the media apps comfort then we have info settings and smartphone so we can check out these sub menus so here you have navigation same full screen as you can have on the driver screen and it's really good navigation same from the s class c class then you have phone you can connect two phones actually at the same time i believe then we have the radio so you can see fm dab favorites am yeah that's the radio then we have the media so with media you can connect by a bluetooth or usb then we have apps so here we have the mercedes me browser and license info then comfort here we have a colors brightness and effects with ambient light so here for the color also if you have electric seats here we have manual seats but if you have electric seats then we can get the seat kinetics which is like a moving of the seat forwards backwards up and down just a little bit not a massage but seat kinetics so here we have monochrome or multicolor so you can change what kind of colors you will get you can see here right now the most visible is this blue one during the daylight basically i believe this first one is the most visible you can see it here also we can have the pink red these kind of colors and with multi-color options you have ocean blue uh, which looks like this then miami rose not really visible during day now but i uh, can get the idea then we have the malibu sunset then burning blue venice pink chrome shine red moon jungle green and ultramarine also the fresh cyan brightness you can have uh, from 0 to 10 you can also link zone or you can have it on individual direct indirect and vents then we have effects greeting climate and multicolor animation as well then we have info so here you can see consumption vehicle information accelerator brake also the steering angle and also the position of the car you can see minus one zero and the level also here we have the engine boost pressure and you can see the torque power temperatures of the oil and also the transmission temperature and then we have settings here so you can see the assistance vehicle lights system and info so here in assistance you can see the collision avoidance then we have the assistance 
camera and parking. All these features and functions here with the vehicle have driving, winter tire limit, you can set it up as well for the winter tires. They have usually a lower limit than manual shifting, so you can turn it on. Automatic filling station search and car wash mode. This one you can see mirrors folded in, windows and roof closed, park running off, rain sensor off and maximum speed 20 km per hour. Then next we have the comfort. So roof roll assembly, you can close this as well here. So it will close as you can see from the menu, you can also open it. Now it opens. Then open close, automatic locking, acoustic lock. The car will beep if you close it and automatic mirror folding, also a good feature. Then dynamic select, here you can change, you can ask when starting. Also you have individual mode, so drive can be eco, comfort and sport. The steering can be comfort and sport. ESP can be comfort and sport as well. Then in lights we have multi-beam LEDs, dynamic low beam, then exterior and interior lightning, locator lighting, interior lighting, delayed switch off and exterior lighting delay. You can have 15, 30, 45 or 60 seconds. And this is for the ambient lighting as well here. System, here we have the voice assistance, Hi Mercedes, online recognition, proactivity, already you can see that the car is uh, looking for the questions. Hello. Hello, I'm Mercedes, your voice assistant. Would you like to know more about what I can do for you? Thank you. You're welcome. Cancel. Okay. So then you have display, display messages, display brightness. You can control the display of the central central display, the brightness of it, uh, activate, deactivate the display, you can turn it off or the system graphic goodies. This is like, like a surprises as well. Then you have units, kilometers, miles, and you can have also additional speedometer for the miles. For example, you can see it here how it changes. So pretty cool to see that as well. Then you have language, you can choose a language. The system also looks like it's faster reacting. Then you have keyboards, control elements, acoustic feedback, touch control, audio, greeting tone, parachronic phone, entertainment, for example, we have a bass. You can increase these treble meets to have a better sound, balance fader. You can put it like this or here in the middle, depending how uh, do you want the sound? Loudness normalization, also this is good one. So uh, equalize the perceived volume to one level. Then we have internet Bluetooth, so you can set up as well. MBUX hotpot, Wi-Fi Bluetooth and NFC, data protection, system pin, time and date, software updates, and you can reset. And then we have info about the car as well, some legal informations. And here if you press, you have these like shortcuts, ESP, car wash mode, manual shifting, partronic, active line keeping assist, and you have all settings here as well. So also cool one, here we have profiles, so you can activate profiles for multiple people, and then it will load up when you will enter the pin. So here is also favorites, so we have consumption traffic and route overview, also some other functions and features, you can add favorites as well. All right, so that's basically it in terms of the new MBUX system. Here we have uh, controls for the AC under the vents. This is the same as in the pre lift. So you have clicky buttons here. You can see the change of temperature. Then we have the glove box, as you can see here, pretty spacious. And also these like a hidden compartment. And you can put water bottle here as well. A large one also you can open the trunk here with this button and see once again this message 
that the vehicle is ready to drive, shutdown occurs when locked or automatically in 10 minutes. So you can uh, lock the car and engine will shut down as well from the outside. So here we have the dynamic button. If you press it, the comfort, you have comfort, eco, sport or individual. So comfort is a blue one. You can see here how the parameters change of the driver. Drive experience, then you have eco, then sport. Everything is in sport and individual where you can set it up how you want, for example. You can go and do like steering, you can have it in sport, and also the ESP you can have this in sport, but you can leave the drive in comfort, so you can customize it like that. Then here uh, you have a camera, so for this particular car we have a rear camera, also park turning system, so you can open and also the rear and also wide angle as well. You can also get the 360 camera if you order that for your car, it's optional extra. And also we have AMG floor mats here with the embroidered AMG logo. So here on the top we have controls for the panoramic window, SOS button, this one you have a button here if you need assistance. Also Mercedes me button and buttons for the lights. Here is a cosmetic mirror, also microphone. And you can see here the mirror here as well. So here is the panoramic window, you can close it like this. It's quite large for uh, this compact car, that's for sure. And it opens pretty fast. You can also open it on the ventilation here. Or you can open it like this. So you have more fresh air coming to the car. So this much space you have for the fresh air. And you can close it. So yeah, let me know how do you like the new interior of the A-Class sedan. So here in the middle we have the armrest. This one has also two USB-C ports, also they are illuminated. Alright guys, and now let's check out the rear seats. So we have bench here in the rear. Let's check it out. We can close the doors. So we have a button here for the windows. Windows are privacy glass. Also we have speaker here and ambient lighting in the doors. With some door packets, you can fit actually water bottle here. Also we have a illuminated USB-C port here. And two vents for the AC. Behind the seats you have a little net for some personal stuff and I can put my feet under the seat so it's pretty comfortable here. Alright, so this is how much legroom do I have. I would say about 4-5 centimeters, about 2 inches more or less, I would say. If I sit relaxed like I usually would, I'm uh, yeah, pretty comfortable here. Also, you can see here that we have a middle armrest. This one you can fold out and you have two cup holders here. So these are adjustable and also these microfiber seats in the bag as well. They are very nicely shaped, very anatomic and sporty. Also isofix for the child seat. And you have the USB-C port here as well illuminated. Alright guys, and in terms of the headroom, I would say I have about good five centimeters, maybe it's even six. So I would say that's about two, two and a half inches, more or less. So I think that's pretty good. I'm 186, 87 centimeters. That's six feet and one, between one and two inches. So that's my height and uh, yeah, I'm pretty fine here. If you are even taller, then uh, yeah, it could be issue, but still I have about two inches. So I think this is uh, pretty good considering this is a compact level. Uh, segment for this car, so I think the headroom is uh, pretty solid. All right, and this is how the front looks from the rear with new steering wheel and all new MBUX system. Also, when you turn off the car, you will get the animation. Also, when you enter the car, but you need to wait uh, because I'm opening and closing the car, I cannot really wait that much longer to show you, but uh, yeah, it's uh, similar to 
when you turn it off actually also with the sound so let's check it out so you can see the stars and Mercedes logo it's similar when you enter the car but also with the greeting tone all right guys that's all for this video I hope you enjoyed it let me know in the comment section down below what you think about the new A-Class sedan and also hatchback and which one do you like more once again thank you very much for your support and I will see you soon in the next video have a wonderful day